Good morning everyone, this is Matthias and this is his Tesla Model Y long range all wheel drive made in Germany okay. stuff and that's me <laughs> and my Volkswagen ID7 Pro and today we are we charge those two cars to 80% we're going on a highway driving in one direction for I don't know 70 kilometers with 100 well we'll talk about the details on the drive we make a little consumption test come back to the other side and then charge up to the 80% that we had here and we'll see what happens So why do we compare the ID7 with the Model Y? Model Y is a cr crossover SUV, ID7 is a sedan. Why? why? <laughs> well, because I know Matthias and I know <laughs> and I know no one with a Model S or Model 3 which would fit better and it's interesting still and entertaining and I want to do this. On paper, <laughs> the Model Y wins almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> it has just a, I have a paper here so otherwise I wouldn't know just a tiny uh, a bit less battery capacity 75 kilowatt hours where I have 77 and he uh, and the Model Y has WLTP range 533 I have 621 but we all know WLTP is not real life that's why we're doing this um, important here is I don't have a heat pump model Y has a heat pump I could have a heat pump in this car I decided not to get it for several reasons then length I'm 20 centimeters longer the model Y is 10 centimeters taller um, he with the all-wheel drive I, I'm only only have rear-wheel drive he with all-wheel drive has almost double the power that I have um, he has way more trunk space, it doesn't matter if it's the seats are folded or not. And he has a front that I don't have. Uh, weight, ID7 weighs 120 kilos more. Uh, and then price, that's very interesting. Uh, uh, for a few days ago, I would have said something different, but Volkswagen lowered the price of the ID7 till end of March. Right now, this Model Y base price is 55,000 euros in Germany but you get everything except for the special autopilot which costs I think 10,000 all the whole thing um, and ID7 you can have base price 52,000 but there's not a lot of stuff in there if you configure it like I configured it uh, it would be right now 63,000 but then you have almost everything in here um, and like I said if you want to get the full autopilot uh, Model Y can be more expensive but you don't have to but in what what's also a big difference is leasing um, for whatever reason uh, Tesla is very expensive when it comes to leasing when you do uh, leasing 24 months 10,000 kilometers uh, uh, a year and no a payment up front for base price Model Y you pay 914 euros in Germany the same conditions for the ID7 base price which is uh, almost 3,000 euros cheaper uh, is 589 euros so that's the differences what are we gonna do we're driving with 130 I'm driving behind Matthias um, to uh, a turnaround point uh, let's say 70 kilometers away or so I will pass him at the half point at around 30 37 kilometers then we turn around he will give me uh, uh, his consumption number we both have the same um, heat settings 21 degrees in auto 
I have the seat heater on on one, but it won't do too much. But I'm a bit chilly at 21 degrees and he's a hothead. He wants 19 degrees usually. Uh, <laughs> and when we turn around, he gives me his consumption number. We, we drive back, but then with 110, I want to see the difference between those. And on the way there, it's a bit downhill. On the way back, it's a bit uphill. That's interesting and I will we will switch positions again when we drive uh, then we uh, come back to Ionity and we'll charge to the 80% back that we did here to see uh, not just the number that the car shows also how much kilowatt hours did we charge uh, did we when we charge this back up how much is the difference that will be very interesting I'm, I'm excited to see that I'm pretty sure I know what the result will be <laughs> but you never know This is my data for my turnaround point. We just turned around. Um, I was at around 232 watt hours per kilometer and I was at the turnaround point 56%. Um, and I called him and I'm extremely surprised. <laughs> extremely surprised. He had 55 switched over to 54% and his consumption is 236. So his consumption is higher and he lost more state of charge, a tiny bit more. But I didn't think that, I thought he would have, uh, to be honest, I thought he would have under 200 watt hours per kilometer. With a heat pump and, hello, Model Y is very, very efficient. But as I said in the beginning, it has, on paper, it has way more features, way more power. It's, it's an awesome car, the Model Y. So we turned around, we're driving now 110 um, because I thought let's switch up the speed and see if one is better or worse at different speeds. And we're going back to the charger and then we look at the consumption again and then we charge up again. I just passed him again. Um, now I'm driving in front for the last, what is it, 30, 40 kilometers now. We drove 120 kilometers, average, con average speed 117. My average consumption is 215 because uh, we're driving slower now. Um, yes, we're driving for an hour. I just called him uh, when I before I passed him and he's too percent state of charge down and consumption is a tiny bit higher but not big but I'm, I'm still very surprised I uh, especially with the heat pump I thought he would have way less consumption than me <laughs> I was betting on it that was I was expecting um, and of course it's interesting that it's different I arrived with, what are we, 36%, 208 watt hours per kilometer. Heat is off, so we can do it with charging, that no heat is now affecting charging and also the consumption right now when we're standing. Ping! He arrived with 33%, 212 watt hours per kilometer. My trip those 156 kilometers, he 105, that's fine. He used 33 kilowatt hours. 
This video is supported by Maingau Autostrom. With Maingau you can charge at over 500,000 charging stalls all over Europe for a fair price. Plugged in, he's already at my state of charge because he charges with 100 kilowatt. Ooh, going down, loser! <laughs> I'm only charging with 74 because my battery is cold. I looked at the battery and it says it's at half temperature. Uh, and I didn't preheat now because the consumption would be wrong. Why is my light on and yours is off? Now, I'm at 64% still around 80 kilowatt because battery is getting warm and I charge 24 kilowatt hours. He has charged 27 kilowatt hours, is also at 64% and also 79 kilowatt. So, but his voltage is a bit higher. Um, I have 205 amps, he has 198 amps. I'm done. Charge 29 minutes, 36.6 kilowatt hours. He's still charging. He's at 79%, almost done. So far it's 3.3 kilowatt hours more. And 31 minutes, 40.2 kilowatt hours. So that's, what is that, 3.6 kilowatt hours more. Yeah, that was fun and I'm very, very surprised. I didn't expect this. I thought it would be way less consumption on this car, but it's still amazing that an SUV with 500 horsepower has the same consumption than a, well, gigantic car, <laughs> but not SUV and 280 horsepower. That's just awesome. I think that's it for us. You take care. Bye.